Hello, I'm Tom Keneally. I write big people's books, but I love little people's books, and I wish I was good enough to write them. And this is one of my favourites. You see, I've got two copies, so you can go on watching the cover while I read. It's bluey, sleepy time. And so we begin. It's sleepy time at the Healer House. Bingo is on her second book with Mum, while Bluey is already fast asleep. Now it's time for lights out. Bingo wants to do a big girl sleep and wake up in her own bed. Sweet dreams, Mum says. Remember, I'm always here if you need me. Bingo looks a little bit scared at doing a big girl sleep for the first time. Something remarkable is about to happen. And one of the things that's remarkable is big pages in this book. So Bingo holds Floppy close. She begins to dream. Chick, 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 chick. All the broken bits joined up. Half of Australia broken, and then on the other side, and they think there's going to be three more. Here is Bingo breaking out of the egg of the earth. And she escapes the world. She is in space. And there's Floppy who escapes his little stuff world. Bingo knows she mustn't forget Floppy as she travels into uh, the world. How is that, kids? That's one, two, three, four pages. In deep space, Bingo sees a big, warm, glowing light. They head towards it. On the way they pass another planet. Someone else has already hatched from this one. Now this is the big mystery of the book. Who is it? I wonder who. And there, Bluey has traveled not into deep space, but to her mum's bed. Bluey, she says, can I have some water? So, Mama's very tired. You can see the heaviness of her eyes. But she goes to the tap, she fills up the water, she brings back the water, and she finds Bluey fast asleep. And there's Bingo. Bingo isn't finished with the night yet. She has other adventures and here Bingo and Floppy head off into space again. Oh, a planet. This one looks cosy because it's emanating light. It is cosy. And in fact, it's not another planet. It's their dad's bed. Their mum is asleep back in their room. Poor woman. And here are the two of them. There's Bingo and Floppy. And here's uh, Bluey asleep. And then Bingo turns over and goes boom into Bluey. But in her mind, she's still in space. And here she is. Bingo and Floppy feel like they're rolling up and down big blue space mountains. It's a lot of fun. And then they find another planet, the biggest one yet. This one, it looks like Mars, which is red, a red planet. This one is a lot of fun to jump on. So much fun that Bluey joins in. Not much fun for Dad, though. So there is Dad carrying Bingo back towards her bed and tired.
tucking her in. Dad, can you sing to me? Says Bluey as she goes to the toilet. 99 bottles of things on the wall. 99 bottles of things. He's singing to pass the time. Bingo is, as he has been all this book, ready to dream off and go into space again. They all end up back in mum and dad's room. And now it looks like it's dad. He's on the floor, isn't he? The blanket slips off. Bingo and Bluey are left shivering in the cold. Bingo spots that warm, glowing light again because she's never woken up properly and she's back in space. Look how anxious Floppy looks. Floppy looks as if he'd rather not be there. On their way towards the light, they pass another planet. This one has something spinning round it. It's Floppy's friends. Floppy wants to join them. I think that's okay in a dream to go spinning around another planet. Not so good unless you've got oxygen and a spacecraft to do it straight off in person. Bingo, let's floppy go. This could be a moment of crisis, kids. Let's see. Wait, what's this? Something's heading towards Bingo. Whoosh. It's so warm. She's on it now, little bingo, because we're all little, if we went into space, we're all little bits of human. And here is a huge planet. Could it be the sun? Could it be the sun? A huge star, I think. It's so big and it's so warm that it makes Bingo dream of being hugged by her mother. But Bingo remembers that she wants to be a big girl and to do a big girl sleep and wake up in her own bed. And she sees from the planet she's landed on, she sees the shell of the earth. Bingo stands up. I have to go, I'm a big girl now. But I'm little too. However, she's determined to be a big girl. Remember, I'll always be here for you, even if you can't see me, says her mother. Where does that sound come from? Because I love you. Bingo floats back to where she began, uh, but she can't fit all the pieces together. Hooray, here comes Floppy with her friends to help. And so they began to assemble it and two of them have the top ready. Night, night, Bingo, says Floppy as she's joining the bits of the earth together. Night, Floppy, says Bingo. Thanks for everything. And indeed, when you look at it, Floppy's been a pretty good stuffed toy when you think of how she's travelled. And indeed, she is in the earth too, as it turns out, because the, the healer house is still and quiet again. Bingo sleeps peacefully now in the bed, not travelling towards distant planets. Dad and Bluey sleep peacefully together. Mum does too. The sun begins to rise. Its rays warm Bingo up, asleep in her own bed, like a big girl. And there the story ends, puts us back into deep space. And uh, here are Bingo Floppy and Bluey for the moment to say goodbye to you and thanks for listening to the story.